Fabiosa animation. The most ridiculous animation account that I've ever seen in my life. Let's just take a look at some of the things that we got here. I breastfed surrounded by coyotes. I was widowed and found a family in one day. I swept away by a tornado. Let's have a look at swept away by a tornado. My husband locked me in the sewer for three years. What? <laughs> I lost my memory in a tornado. What is going on? You're a hobo who lives in a manhole. <laughs> I was wearing red. This is a very serious story. This happens to thousands of women across the United States every single year. So please be very serious <laughs> about this, okay? This and didn't remember anything. You'll work for me as a maid in exchange for food. Th this is this is his her wife, by the way. Then let me live. Th this is the husband. The barn, so I wouldn't smell like sewage anymore. Th because baths don't exist, obviously. Do you live alone with your daughter? Have you always lived like this? If you can zoom in, you can see he tore her out of the picture. Why is he so mad at this lady? Like, what happened? He's mad that she got caught in a tornado? Like, damn it, woman. How dare you get caught in a tornado? My wife's dead, but that's <laughs> none of your business. Your wife isn't dead. Also, wouldn't the baby know? The baby I should be able to tell. I grateful to Ben for taking me in. Free health checkups for everyone. Health checkup. Free health checkup. Okay, never mind. This is not in America. I was healthy, but the doctor's suggestion confused me. You can bring your child to the exam as well. <gasps> the what? I don't have kids. I've never even been pregnant. What? You had a baby, honey. You can't hide anything from a doctor. So he doesn't actually know the family? He's just saying that you had a baby? How do you know? How can you tell? You can't hide anything from a doctor? That's a little weird, isn't it? Did my baby die? Is that why I lost my memory? The doctor said I had a baby. Do you know where it is? <laughs> Looking directly at the baby, he's like, mm, I, I don't know, it could be anywhere, really. Have you checked back in the shed? You don't have any family. You live in a manhole, remember? <laughs> Do you live in a manhole? I'm sorry, I'm pausing so much. This is just the funniest thing in the world. I'll go to the police and try to track down my child. This writing is next level. George R.R. R. Martin, Brandon Sanderson, Shakespeare, get out of here! We got whoever wrote this. If you do, you'll lose your job. No one can know I have a hobo in my house. She lives in the shed. What I are you talking about? I police, but I couldn't get off Ben's property. <laughs> You're staying here. Locked? Nobody needs you but me and my daughter. Jesus Christ. I'll find my child even if it costs me my life. So true, bestie. Then a tornado ripped through town. What, again? I had time to grab the girl. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't grab the girl. You have a history of being fucked up by tornadoes. At that moment, I remembered this had happened before. Oh, you remembered. I woke up in the ambulance next to Ben's daughter. You remembered. Don't you remember your mom at all, Laura? No, she went away when I was a baby. She can talk now? Wait, how long has it been since the tornado incident? We're discharging the girl, but we're keeping the woman for another week. <laughs> we're keeping the woman. Ah, yes, the patriarchy. No way. I'll give Martha better care than a hospital. Ben said Ben. literally snatched me out of my room that night. I'm not letting you or Laura out of the house again. It's not safe. He could be right. There's a lot of tornadoes been going around recently. I went back to cleaning and Ben went away on business. That was the day I discovered my identity. <gasps> I remembered what my life was like before the tornado three years ago. Oh my god, I told three Laura years we ago. I going for a walk. Daddy won't let us out. It's locked. It's okay. Ben had locked us in, so I called the cops. Yeah, why are you locking them in? How are they supposed to get food? They're just gonna starve to death. But fate was showing me salvation, <gasps> salvation. and I didn't miss that opportunity. Oh, she sneaked out? We were free, and my memory was completely restored. Did the police just not, is that, where's the police? Guys? The truth is never late. <gasps> oh no. It always wins. The truth wins, baby. I've never been happier. Nice. My baby girl is with me, and we got away from that tyrant. Let's go! Today, yeah! I remembered I'm your mama. <gasps> Why is she still wearing the same clothes that she did in the tornado? Like, I know Ben's a bit of a dickhead, but surely like three years ago. Come and on. And I now. remembered the big tornado. So I al wait, wait, already what? knew, mommy. What? You already knew? Fuck you, kid. You didn't say anything? What's dumb kid? I hate kids. They always do stuff like this, like not telling you that you are their mother legitimately after three years of being locked in a shed. I hate kids, man. They always do that. Woo, happy ending. Hey, let's go, baby. A horse helped me defeat my enemies? Oh, dude, come on. Yes, we have to. A dentist gave me horse teeth? What? Okay, I can't wait for that. I had no money for new teeth and my wedding was the next day. I hope my fiance would accept me like this. Oh no. 
but he got shocked and fainted. I fled in shame. <gasps> no, wait, did the dentist go to the wedding? Are they like, what, a family friend? Oh, the dentist did it to steal the husband. That's why. Oh no, Paul turned up, but only to add insult to injury. No, she should cover the wedding expenses since she ruined it by being ugly. As you know, that actually works. If you go to someone and you say, you need to cover the expenses because you were too ugly for me to marry. I couldn't pay, so I got kicked out. Oh, the de I knew the freaking dentist was behind the entire time. I knew it. I was fired for my ugly teeth. That's discrimination. I couldn't afford a motel room, let alone a new smile. That's, it's not, it can't be that bad. Kira wouldn't let me sleep on my own property. Didn't even report it to the police. I fainted only to then find out she was pregnant with Paul's baby. <gasps> Oh, I was pregnant with Paul's baby. Oh, no. Kira let me sleep in the closet because you're pregnant with Paul's baby. You better show me some gratitude for my kindness. And then what happened? I was glad I didn't have to live on the street while being pregnant. Just wait until you see what happens to this baby. You're gonna be absolutely pogging out. After I gave birth, I didn't get to hold the baby. This is nine months from now? Oh my God. I became a mom without ruining my figure. Oh, well that's great. At least the family had a happy ending, right? That's a good happy ending for the family. You're a bum. We can take good care of the kid. Oh, jeez, man, this is messed up. When does the horse come in? Straight from the hospital, I went to get my son. Oh, put, yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah, fire. Give her, give her the swift right hook. We'll get her in the Korea clash. I only took your child so you could recover. Oh, that was nice of her. I spent the night in my baby's room. Ah, uh, oh, but she has an evil grin. The next morning, I woke up in a stable without my son. <gasps> no! Surely not. You'll never get out of here. Forget about that baby. Are you gonna lock her in the stable? Kira left me out in the nowhere. Car from the world. How deep of a sleeper are you? You got put in the car and you didn't realize the entire time? What's wrong with you? I found a phone, but wires were cut. Oh no. As soon as I connected them, it rang. Almost forgot. We're moving to the other side of the world. You know, the country, the other side of the world. I love that country. Great place, good views. I rode my horse for the first time in my life. At least you get to keep your horse, right? Landing planes guided me to the airport. Go, go, run. Run as fast as you can. I managed to get there before Kira and Paul took off. Good. <gasps> the dentist was wearing dentures herself. <gasps> oh, no. Turned out Kira was a fraud with no license to practice. Oh. With the compensation, I got my pretty smiling home back. But you left, you left Peter, right? Because he's a deadbeat who... Charged you for your own wedding. No, no, come on. Now we can be together again? No, come on. No, 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 what do you mean? No, 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 absolutely not. I didn't forgive Paul. Yeah, exactly, why would you forgive Paul? Don't forgive that dickhead, get him out here. I visit the horse that helped me get my baby back. I thought she was holding the ring to the horse. I thought she was gonna propose to the horse. That would've been the greatest ending in the world, please. You've unlocked the good ending. Unemployed and homeless, Kira found a job at the stable. Oh yeah, now she's putting aside for new teeth. Hey, have you been cast aside of uh, from your close ones over your appearance? Well, race on a horse to steal your baby back and then punch out their dentures. I have to see the comments on this. What the fuck? Clapping emoji. <laughs> what is, this has almost 10,000 views by the way. This is completely insane. Well, I hope you've learned a thing or two. And the number one thing that you should learn is to subscribe to more powers.